Our planet, Earth, seems solid beneath our feet, yet, deep inside, it is a dynamic, churning world. Recently, scientists detected something unusual beneath Hudson Bay in Canada, a subtle signal with profound implications. This new finding is a geological puzzle, a mystery unfolding. It might connect to one of Earth's most formidable giants. The discovery began as faint anomalies in geophysical data. Strange readings that did not fit known patterns. At first, some thought it was an error, but the signals persisted, growing clearer with more observation. They pointed to a significant disturbance in the mantle, the deep layer beneath Earth's crust. What could cause such a disturbance? The region of Hudson Bay is fascinating to geologists. It bears the immense weight of ancient ice sheets. Even now the land is slowly rising, rebounding from that icy burden. This process is called post-glacial rebound, but this new anomaly seems different, deeper. It hints at processes originating far below the surface. Processes linked to the very heart of our planet's heat engine. This isn't just a local Canadian curiosity. The Earth is an interconnected system. What happens in one place can have effects far away. This discovery beneath Hudson Bay could be such a tremor. Its potential connections stretch south towards Yellowstone. Who found this remarkable anomaly? The International Geodynamic Survey IGS. These scientists are like detectives of the deep Earth. Their mission to understand our planet's inner workings. They use cutting-edge technology to probe the unseen. The key technology was the Sub-Lithospheric Mantle Tomography Array, or SLMTA. Imagine it as a CAT scan for the planet, but instead of X-rays, it uses seismic waves. These waves travel through the Earth, changing speed and direction. The SLMTA is a network of highly sensitive sensors. These sensors collected data for many months. Computers then crunched the enormous datasets. They built up a three-dimensional picture of the mantle beneath Hudson Bay. This is where the anomaly appeared, a region of unusually low seismic velocity. This often indicates hotter, more buoyant material perhaps a plume of warm rock rising from deep within the mantle, or maybe a zone where the mantle is partially molten. The data is clear, something significant is stirring there. The IGS team, led by Dr. Aris Thorne, was cautious. They cross-referenced their findings with other data, everything pointed to the same conclusion. The anomaly was real, and it was dynamic. So, there's a hot spot or something like it under Hudson Bay. Why should this concern anyone beyond geologists? The answer lies in potential connections. Scientists are now exploring a startling hypothesis, a link between this Hudson Bay anomaly and the Yellowstone supervolcano, hundreds, even thousands of miles apart. Yet they might be connected by Earth's hidden plumbing, a kind of geological highway deep beneath the surface. The proposed link is not a simple straight pipe. Earth's mantle is a complex, slowly churning ocean of rock, one idea is a deep mantle thermal conduit, a channel of hotter, more mobile rock. This conduit might have existed for millions of years. The new activity under Hudson Bay could be sending pressure pulses, or perhaps a flow of material along this ancient pathway, a pathway that leads towards the vast magma chamber beneath Yellowstone. The science here is new and evolving. Researchers are racing to gather more data. Understanding this link is now a top priority. Yellowstone, a titan slumbering beneath our feet, Yellowstone. The name itself evokes images of raw, natural power. Geysers like Old Faithful shooting steam skyward, bubbling mud pots and vibrant hot springs. These are just surface expressions of something far grander and far more dangerous lurking below. Yellowstone is not just a park, it is a supervolcano. One of the largest known active volcanic systems on Earth, its caldera, or giant crater, was formed by colossal past eruptions. It measures about 30 by 45 miles. Beneath this caldera lies a massive magma chamber, a vast reservoir of molten and semi-molten rock. This chamber is fed by a hot spot in the Earth's mantle, a plume of superheated material rising from deep within the planet. This hot spot has been active for millions of years, as the North American tectonic plate drifts over it. The hotspot punches through, creating a chain of calderas. Yellowstone is just the current location above this fiery plume. It has erupted catastrophically several times in the distant past. The last super eruption was about 631,000 years ago. Yellowstone has the potential for such an event. Though the probability in any given year is very low, it is not zero. Scientists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory monitor it constantly. How could something happening under Hudson Bay affect Yellowstone? 
Earth systems are complex and delicately balanced. Imagine a very full glass of water. The slightest nudge can cause it to overflow. Yellowstone's magma system might be in such a state, sensitive to subtle changes in pressure or stress. The newly detected anomaly beneath Hudson Bay represents a change. If the Hudson Bay anomaly were to contribute to a Yellowstone eruption, what would that actually mean? The consequences of a super eruption are difficult to fully grasp. They would be global, and they would be catastrophic. It is not just an American disaster, it is a planetary event. The immediate vicinity of Yellowstone would be obliterated, covered by pyroclastic flows, fast-moving avalanches of hot ash, gas, and rock. These flows can travel hundreds of miles, nothing in their path would survive. This zone of total devastation would cover parts of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. Beyond the immediate blast zone, the ashfall would be the next crisis. A thick blanket of volcanic ash would cover much of North America. Inches or even feet of ash would fall across the continent. This ash is not like soft fireplace ash. It is made of tiny, sharp fragments of rock and glass. It collapses buildings under its weight. It clogs engines and water filtration systems. It contaminates water supplies and agricultural land. Breathing it causes severe respiratory problems. Transportation, power grids and communications would grind to a halt. The impacts would not stop at the continent's edge. A super eruption injects enormous amounts of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere. This gas combines with water to form sulfate aerosols. The result would be a volcanic winter. The discovery beneath Hudson Bay is a stark reminder. Our planet is active, dynamic, and full of surprises. We cannot control these immense geological forces, but we can strive to understand them better. Knowledge is our most powerful tool for preparedness. The link between Hudson Bay and Yellowstone is still a hypothesis. It requires much more research, more data, more analysis. Scientists around the world will now focus on this problem, using ever more sophisticated instruments and models. This is how science advances step by painstaking step. Increased monitoring is essential, not just of Yellowstone itself but of related geological structures. The SLMTA array that detected the Hudson Bay anomaly is a great start. We need more such observatories, listening to the Earth's deep rumbles. Satellites can track ground deformation over vast areas. GPS networks can measure tiny movements of the crust. International collaboration is key. These are global challenges that require global cooperation. Sharing data, expertise and resources will accelerate our understanding and help us build a more complete picture of Earth's inner life. What about preparedness? Even if a super eruption is unlikely in our lifetimes, understanding the potential triggers helps refine risk assessments. It can inform long-term planning for governments and communities. This includes emergency response plans, 